Hey guys, these are my predictions for the 2016 AQA P2 paper. So the first thing I have to tell you is that I am not an examiner, I do not have any inside information, I do not know any secrets, I am just a teacher and I've done a bit of thinking and I've done a bit of looking and these are my guesses because they are just guesses for what's going to be on this year's paper but please don't just revise the stuff that I say here, please revise everything really really fully. Having said that, I can tell you, you are going to need to know your maths really, really well. I've gone through all the past papers and on average in the higher paper, 40% of the marks comes from math skills. Now these aren't tricky math skills, it's not something that you need to spend a lot of time going over in your maths textbook, but what they do in physics is they take a rather simple math skill and they put lots of words around it. And the words really confuse people because they can't pull out the numbers and then do the physics skills from the maths. Now what you need to do is practice, practice, practice. Because in the exam, what you're going to get is a load of words with some units and then your formula sheet. Now your formula sheet for P2 is two sides long. That's so much more than we had to do for P1. And you need to know every single one of these units. Because if you can't take the stuff in the question and relate it to the formula sheet and work out which formula you need to use, you're not going to get any of the marks. And generally, one of the marks on this question is for writing down the units. And these are easy, easy marks if you can do this. Now the other thing that I've seen recently is that they're making these math questions a little bit harder. They're throwing in a few extra skills that you probably haven't practiced in your science lesson because they're not really science things. They either added in using standard form and if your question gives you numbers in standard form, the examiner is going to want you to answer in standard form. They've also been asking you to give numbers to a certain number of significant figures. Now these are really, really hard skills and you have to practice them really well. And because I know these are hard skills and because I know you need to practice them really well, I've written you a book and I've made you a video on how to do this. There are links you can go and download it. This will be a really, really valuable part of your revision. The other thing they might do with the maths is combine two different equations together. Now sometimes they might give you like an easy part A and then in part B give you another equation, another bit of information and ask you to work something else. And people come to me and say, Miss, they haven't given me all the information I need. You just need to go back to the previous part of the question and look there. Don't forget, sometimes you're going to have to use answers that you've worked out for yourself in the next part of the question. And if you're not sure that the first part of the question is right and you don't want me, maybe you don't want to use your answer in the second part, that's okay. You can still use your answer and the examiners will just follow your maths through and they can do something called error carried forward, which means you can still get credit for your working, because please always write down your working, even if the answer you've used from part A isn't quite correct. So six mark questions. Last year's six mark question was absolutely amazing. It was it was astonishing. Some people might have been a bit thrown because it was kind of a chemistry question which they threw into a physics paper, but it was so easy. It was so lovely. And because last year's was so easy, I don't think this year's is going to be an easy one at all. I think it's going to go back to really, really hardcore physics. So things that didn't come up a lot last year that I think are hardcore physics and it might be on are forces. Um, there are loads of different things they can ask about forces. Jumping out of a parachute is one they really, really like. Um, cars, lorries, moving along is really, really like. Colliding objects, things moving apart, all of that you need to know really well. So you need to know your momentum, you need to know your forces arrows. That could be the big six mark question. The other thing that could be the big six mark question, which they didn't really ask a lot about last year, is stars and space. Base because there's a lot of complicated physics that goes on there and they didn't really touch on it much last year. So last year they didn't really do stars very much, the other thing they didn't really do very much was circuits. So I think both your parallel and your series circuits, all of your circuit diagrams, all of the circuit symbols, all of the graphs, the um, 
that you need to know for circuits i would revise those really really well because i think they're going to come up a lot this year now graphs are going to be a big part of your exam as are experiments there has been this massive, massive trend towards getting you to use actual data in your exams, getting you to draw graphs, getting you to plan experiments, getting you to think about what um, results should look like, so working out anomalies, working out means, drawing graphs, drawing lines of best fit. This is across all of the exams, it's really important you know this really, really well. My ISA, my controlled assessment playlist will help you with all of your skills, but go over all of the practicals that you've done in class make sure you know how to do them how to do them safely there is generally in a physics exam at least one whole question based around a practical so I've said you need to know your current and your voltage graphs really well. The other graphs you need to know really well are going to be your distance time and your velocity time graphs and your half time graphs and your half time equations. These could come up really lots because they did they weren't a massive focus of last year's paper. So I think they will be this year. Okay guys, lots and lots for you to revise there. Use this as your starting point. Don't just revise the things that I say in here. Make sure you focus on your maths, make sure you focus on your units, but don't miss out anything. Really, really good luck in the exam. I know you guys have been working so, so hard. I can see it when the comments, I can see it in the stats, and I'm really, really proud of you guys. Good job, keep it up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.